Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing my 2021 stats. So I do only do stats at the end of the year. It's just nice to see where I'm at, how things have changed and all of that stuff. Um, but I don't do monthly stats or anything because one, I don't think I read enough for that. But two, that just feels like a lot of extra work and I have too much to do. So starting off with the most important thing, of course, I read 72 books this year, which is a lot more than I was anticipating. Uh, I set my goal at 45 because I had previously been setting it at 50 or 52. There have been some years when I made it and some years when I didn't. So I thought 45 was more of a safe number. I did not expect to reach 72, but I do think that part of that is attributed to the fact that I've been reading more audiobooks and that has been a huge help. So for 2022, I'm setting my goal at 52. I don't want to up it too much but we'll see how this goes i'll probably have to rework that by the time we get to 2023 so with 72 books i read over 25,000 pages i'm going off my story graph number because i did have four dnfs this year but on story graph the pages that you did read for that book count which i really appreciate so i read 72 books and then i had four dnfs that are not included in my total books read obviously because i didn't finish them as far as monthly breakdown, the largest amount of books that I read in one month was eight, which is pretty good. That's about double what I started out with because I was typically reading about four books a month. That has increased slightly. My average now is probably about six books a month. So that's something, I guess. As far as genre breakdown, fantasy, again, is the largest genre that I read this year, which is not at all surprising. Romance came in second because I am trying to read more romance, making a conscious effort to do that. And then Mystery Thriller, I think, is always third. And then everything else always has like very small numbers. Contemporary is a little larger this year, but otherwise everything else is usually around the one and two range. So I mentioned before that I was planning on officially switching over to the Storygraph this year, which I am. And another reason that I prefer Storygraph over Goodreads is because of the ratings. I appreciate that I can do half and quarter star ratings because the fact that Goodreads doesn't have that yet doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So this year my average rating was 3.7 stars, which is pretty on par for me. However, the rating that I gave the most was actually four stars, which is pretty cool because I think in the past few years it's been like a three. And not that three stars are bad, but fours are obviously better. So that's something. I mentioned that I had four DNFs this year. These are those books. Um, I talk about them in the beginning of my worst books of 2021 if you're interested in why I didn't finish some of them. The only stat that I really took from the Goodreads uh, year in books thing is the shortest and longest books just because it's interesting to see. So for me this year, The Drowning Faith, which is a novella of the Poppy War trilogy told from Minnie Jaw's point of view, was only 15 pages. And then Empire of Gold was 766 pages. And I don't know how I feel about that book. If you don't know how I feel about that book, it is the last book in a trilogy. I gave the first book five stars, the second book four stars, and that one got two stars, and I did a drunk book review of it. So wasn't great, but I had to finish the trilogy. I was still interested in the character and the stories and all that, but it just didn't really go well for me. So now we have my rereads. I read all of the books in the Grishaverse between the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. So I reread Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom in December of 2020. And then I reread the Shadow and Bone trilogy in the beginning of 2021. And then from there, we went on to read King of Scars and Rule of Wolves, which were also on my worst books of 2021. But because I reread that trilogy, which was not a great experience, you ever read something and the first time you enjoy it, but then you reread it and you don't like it as much? I really don't like tropes and I feel like this trilogy, especially Siege and Storm, had all the tropes that I hate. 100%. I hated it. Oh my god, it was awful. 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 So another stat that I really appreciate from the story graph is most read authors. Because I did read all of the Grishaverse, Lee Bardugo is my most read author, which kind of sucks because three of her books ended up on my worst of 2020 so that's not great uh i've read everything in the grishaverse if she continues to write in there mm, we'll see if i'll pick it up i did also read ninth house and i will not be continuing that stories i hate ninth house i do not understand the appeal of it i really don't i mean the concept sounds cool but execution did not work out for me Aside from Lee Bardugo, Alyssa Cole is my most read author. I read Reluctant Royals by her as well as The AI Who Loved Me. I think that's all. 
but even with that that's three books two novellas and then i listened to the audiobook of the ai who loved me so a stat that i don't have graphics for that i realize i need to pay a little closer attention to is format because when i'm logging books on either storygraph or when i was using goodreads i never really paid attention to format so i'm gonna make a conscious effort to do that this year because i would like to see what that looks like but for 2021 the majority of my books were a blended read meaning that i had either the physical copy or the ebook as well as the audiobook to follow along with and then after that was just the audiobook and not having the physical copies so as i said i was reading a lot more audio this year so that's pretty interesting um i only read nine books physically without the audio and i actually read eight ebooks which is interesting i it's not that i dislike ebooks is that i constantly forget that i have the kindle app on my phone or that i well i have a kindle but i need a new one because that one's trash it like won't stay charged and i don't know which one to get so if you have recommendations for a kindle or some sort of tablet i also have the tendency to forget that i have kindle unlimited so that's something i should probably also work on if you saw my goals for 2022 then you know that for the first six months i'm going to be focusing on reading what's on my shelves so hopefully that goes well but with that in mind, I will also still definitely be reading mostly fantasy. So those are my 2021 stats. Let me know how your stats worked out this year. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next video.